My kids have this toy car, but lately the battery has been kind of terrible. So sad. And since Bitlooney has been staying with me for a few days and we are expert mechanics, we decided to do something about it. The car currently has a lead acid battery and these are notorious for decaying over time. So I'll let Brian explain what the plan is. We're gonna take a drill battery, yeah, which is 20 volts. We're gonna use a DC to DC converter okay. to drop it down to 12. I'm gonna put it in here. And ship it. And ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the 3D printed battery holder. What 3D print? What are you talking about? What is, what is this all about? You will see. Okay. And these little terminals go into the 3D print like so and then it slots onto a little parkside battery parkside well, let's see it says works on this side it says works on this side because the original plan was to make an adapter for a works drill okay we're going to repurpose it today okay and let's check we see the 20 volts step one yeah Step two, use a DC to DC converter okay. to convert our 20 volts yeah. down to 12 volts. Okay. When we first tested the DC to DC converter, it wasn't working. That's also the wrong way. But adding a 10K resistor as a dummy load seemed to fix it. And just plug it in. Okay, so we have 18 volts now. No, we now try. Some people were a little less confident that we knew what we were doing. <laughs> I really want to see the blow up. Can I please see the blow up? <laughs> it's not gonna blow up. <laughs> we hope. I think we need a bit loony style build montage. All the hard workout pays off now. All those heavy weights. <laughs> Time to test out the new system. We did manage to reuse most of the same connectors. <laughs> We're out. Should we just remove the batteries altogether? I think we should. Uh, is this the right? This is the right. It's the right polarity. Okay, okay. Let me step back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. Are you shaking? Yes. Are you shaking? Yes. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> Still good. Oh. <laughs> we did it, baby. Okay. Okay, we have to see does it drive though. Remote control. I saw it inside. Not spoil it to to Brian. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, Brian, Brian, let's test it for the first. Oh, it's driving for the first time. Here we go. Oh, it's good, isn't it? oh 12 volts, and we can even crank it up. That's... <laughs> Ship it. Ship it. You could probably carry even me. Gugu, uh, go. <laughs> Come on, Gugu. Gugu. <laughs> Gugu goes on a road trip and he has an extra battery. <laughs> Here's the remote. This is better than regular electric cars. Yeah, Gugu, yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> oh. 
this face in me. Google. All that's left to do is remove the old battery and secure down the new system. I feel like one screw is a great to hold it up. Oh, do you feel so? Like like one screw, like that one here, with with QA pass. <laughs> the point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it. I Maybe thought a washer. Well. Found the life hack. Come on, come come back, come back. I show you the life hack. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> 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 Just... <laughs> we could do that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, okay. So we squeeze the battery in here. Yeah, battery. Don't pull it by that. Okay, okay. <laughs> After that incident, I added a lot of hot glue. You know, there are thousand volts <laughs> at, at, at the at the capacitors. <laughs> what? Now the real test drivers could give it a go. But Looney, all he did was hold the camera and try to annoy me. I thought you said, here we go. It, no, I didn't say, here we go. <laughs> okay, we have this 3D print. Wait, I'm not... <laughs> no, 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 I started already.